100% of the money raised from this silent auction item goes to the Jeremiah Program. For more information, please visit jeremiahprogram.org. Welcome! Hey! How are you? Are you at work too? Yeah, I'm working. Jeez. Well, where's this bathroom? Well, there's a downstairs with upstairs. Well, which one do you want? Mm, probably the upstairs, I guess. Cool. Holy a... crap, it's strong in here. Yeah, I just pissed it. Too much? <laughs> Too late. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's just that little thing? What does it look on, like on the other side? Flip it over. Oh yeah, piece of cake. Okay. We can do it. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to match So you're gonna color there. match it to what I'm doing. Yep. Exactly. That's right. Cool. You know job. All right, we'll get you taken care of. All right. Thank you. Sure thing. Bye. Let's begin by cleaning with lemon scented dish soap in a prison sink. Next, we'll strip the glaze from the ceramic lid. This harsh chemical takes about 30 minutes to work. If effective, what you should notice is the previously shiny, smooth surface will now have a more coarse texture and dull appearance. I like to repeat this step to ensure we get a nice mechanical bond, which will drastically extend the lifespan and durability of our new finish. It's super important that you can see that there's no sheen left on there. Now this bonder is a lot like Velveeta that is like almost melted, so super thick. What we're gonna do, we'll just bring it on here. Using a mini roller versus a brush will prevent bristle marks, which can sometimes be seen through lighter colors. After a coat or two, your lid should resemble a marshmallow. For this design, I want to mask the edges with tape. After mixing the two-part epoxy, we'll add mica pigment to portion divided cups. I like this pure white as a base coat. It has this beautiful pearlized effect. We want to make sure to spread this to fill the edges. Of note, this spatula is made of silicone and epoxy is reluctant to permanently adhere to silicone, so it's reusable. Now one thing the owner requested was gold, so let's carve out a couple nice gold veins and add an exotic friend to play nearby. Fire out any bubbles. I had a little more shimmering gold. I also think she'd dig some embedded color, so let's add a few turquoise teardrops. It's always a scary moment to fog the epoxy with paint, but ultimately it creates a really cool effect. Let's try some black. And then spritz acetone on top for a lacy look. Alright, a little more gold. Contrasts of dark and light draw the eye nicely, so let's add bronze to the nether region. Let's utilize a couple fractured veins to break up the large color blocks. Gosh, I have to say that I'm unimpressed by the staying power of our gold. It lays on so nice, but that tends to fade into the background. Okay, let's try fogging the other side with white and repeat that acetone spray process. As the resin sits, this should create an incredible effect. It's 
see what's doing under there. After about 30 minutes, our art coat has thickened enough that we can remove the tape. It looks so amazing! I especially do like that near side blue and white. But we're not done yet. Let's lightly sand the surface in preparation for our flood coat. I also had a friend put together a channel logo, so let's affix that with some two part epoxy as well. I ordered some real life diamonds from Mumbai. We're going to put that in this layer. I do want to save some for the end. After it starts to thicken up, I'm going to pour it over the edges to make sure we got good coverage on the edges. You can see those diamonds in there. Let's see how she looks. I wish there was a way to communicate all the breathtaking dimensions and eye-catching shimmer on film. Oh wow. It's truly stunning. Now I saved some of the goop that fell off our art coat and epoxied a logo to the front. Also as a special gift I ordered some neodymium magnets to epoxy to the back for her and her family. When everything finishes curing, let's go make a delivery. I hope she likes it as much as I do. Okay, do we get the blanket too? This is a nice blanket. No, you don't the blanket. Okay. Ooh! Wow! Beautiful! I'm amazed! Look at that! You look sharp. And it really does. And it has a tag. So there's another thing that's in there too. Okay. Some of the sparkles. Diamonds. <laughs> Next, the front of the fridge. Alright, let's check see if it fits. This one's our in between. <laughs> so. Alright. Right there, baby. That oh, looks great. Classy. That's, That's awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so good. It does look so good. It almost looks too good. I know. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Can I have Daddy. it back? <laughs>